What does the UK county of Cornwall and the capital city of Latvia have in common? Find out in this city flag of rigour. Normally with City Flag episodes, I cover the current and, if there is one, maybe a previous design, but that's about it. Riga, the capital city of Latvia, where I am now, houses more designs than there are Marvel superhero films. What? Oh, apparently there's a new one, so uh, anyway, you get the idea. Is Spider-Man in that one as well? All right, never mind. But for Riga, it's a different story, as the current flag is one of many, 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 many flags the city has had, and its history goes back to around the 13th century. With that in mind, let's get going. Today's flag, because there are elements of it throughout the years that build up to this, from the blue and white field to the coat of arms that has a silver shield with a red brick tube tower building with a lion peeking out through the main door bridge, the cross keys, the golden cross and the crown and all this flanked by two golden lions standing on what looks like a fireplace mantelpiece. But it's where the elements of this coat of arms come from. During the 1330s, it is said that the city walls with the open gates and two towers were made of marble rather elaborate, and this represented the city's independence, significance and power, hence the coat of arms. But if we go back in time we see that their city flag was in fact an old England county design. This is the flag of Cornwall and this is the 1270 merchant flag of Riga, and as Cornwall wasn't discovered until the 19th century, we can only assume that Riga got their design first by a few hundred years. 14th century saw this massive redesign, still no colouring pencils available of course, until however 1682 we get this. Aha, the birth of today's flag, Red Castle, crossed keys and a lion trying to escape. But by the middle of the 17th century, Ikea's flag was used, but the keys and the cross remain on the shield, mainly because Sweden was greatly involved in Latvia at the time. 1673, someone nicked the faded Ukraine flag for the city until this pan-Slavic blue, red, white tricolour appears in the middle of the 19th century. But that was all to change during the Soviet era. Lenin, who wasn't part of the 1960s pop band Beatles, had his face stuck on the front of the city flag, while on the back, or the reverse, we had, instead of the back of his head, the words City of Riga, and below, Workers of the World Unite. Early 1990s, the Soviet fell, the old coat of arms restored, flanked by lions, and the faded Ukraine flag returned. There's a mare design, and the vertical versions keep the coat of arms upright, and there's a pointy pennant style for good measure. The multi-design, multicultural, multinational flag of the capital city of Riga. You can continue your exploration of another Baltic capital city, where you can find just how similar the capital of Estonia is to the capital of the Balkans country of Montenegro. It's a very odd comparison there with this video next to me. He's seeing you.